Now, in domestic politics, the nation's rival parties have reaffirmed their stances over what to do with the revised National Assembly law, which was vetoed by President Park and Hay last week. On Saturday, the ruling Senate Party confirmed that its lawmakers will not take part in Monday's revote at the National Assembly out of respect for the president's veto. Since the ruling party has a parliamentary majority, its refusal to join the vote means the bill will almost certainly be automatically scrapped. As under the Constitution, revotes on veto bills require the attendance of more than two thirds of lawmakers. The main opposition, New Politics Alliance for Democracy, however, is continuing to badger the ruling party to join the vote. The Liberal Party has also criticised the ruling party's infighting over the fate of its floor leader following President Park's veto. The controversial bill, which is aimed at allowing the Assembly to make requests to executive ordinances, was vetoed on the grounds that it threatens the constitutional principle of the division of power.